What's up everybody? It's Oz from Tow Trucks Cars and Energy Drinks. And if you see way down there, there's a car sitting up into the ditch right over there. Let me see you zoom in. There's a car right there in the ditch. And I can't get to it with the tow truck without causing a lot of damage. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm actually, I went to the yard to go get the pickup truck so I can kind of drag it out to a safe spot. And then we're gonna go ahead and load it from there. So this is probably one of the sketchiest things I've done in a while. But you know me, I don't like to turn down toes or money. So let's get it. Enough talking. I got the key right here for the Taurus. Of course, I need that energy drink to stabilize my mind. And for that boost of energy. Monster, of course. I love doing this kind of stuff. Honestly, when I was younger and I was driving by and I seen you needed help like this, I would just stop by and help you for free. Now I get the charge for it. That's gonna be gnarly trying to get up that hill though. I think I'm just gonna try to back up all the way to it. Let's see what this baby can do. First things first, I guess we gotta load it up with some straps. Probably loaded up with everything I need. So first things first, we're gonna take our super long strap. We're gonna be this one right here. Take a snatch block in case we need that, in case I use it to the tree. And let me see what else I can probably use. We'll take a ratchet strap and another strap just in case. And We'll throw all this in the back of the truck. We'll bring some wood as well. And um, my trusty chain burdle. Actually, maybe I'll bring the long ones. My soft straps.
Yeah, he was going a little bit too fast. What are you gonna do? That's right, hit a construction worker, $10,000 fine, and all kinds of stuff happened, but you know, they never do nothing for the tow guys. Not to throw shade on construction workers, but we are, our lives are just equally as important. All I'm trying to say. Okay. So we're gonna go off-roading. And that's actually what this truck was designed to do, was to go off-road. So, I'm gonna put it in four low. back up into this bad boy now this is fun we'll go four low we're gonna raise it all the way up let the air suspension build up a little bit i'm kind of hoping i get stuck always use your momentum whoa that was gnarly <laughs> oh man see i would have just got stuck in that ravine and then i had to pull it out with the tow truck but let me tell you this truck gonna be a lot easier to get unstuck than that Forward. So, so I think I figured out how I'm going to do this. I see there's a tree right there, and I'm going to use that big old tree as my anchor point to pull it up the hill, but I guess I can pull it straight back also. Um, the nice thing I like maybe about doing it around that tree is it's gonna pull it up as I go. So um, let's figure out how that'll work first. Man, I should've grabbed my energy drink. Okay. really any good anchor points here in the back oh actually yeah there is right up underneath the bumper it looks like there is sweet that'll give me a little bit more room why do people always accelerate like out of the scene by the tow truck guy like dude you're not cool i'll tell you right now oh yeah let me just rip it out of there oh look at me my truck oh All right, so we're gonna use this right here to go off of that. Man, I wish I had a longer strap. Take all the tension out of it and the lines. So I think the best way to do this is gonna be with a couple straps. Oh, 
so we'll do it like this. Guys, you might learn something, or you might teach me something in the comments later. Either way, it's all good. And if I just had a little bit longer line, let me see if I can tweak that through. So I just splice connected some straps here. And hopefully that will be enough to hold when I start pulling on it. We're about to find out. So now we can go ahead and put this beast in neutral. And pray to whomever. Whoever you're into. Oh, put it in neutral. We'll put just like one couple clicks up on the brake just so she don't break loose on me. catch now so let me get the phone up here so you guys can see she busted that's why i like using straps because in case they break they just kind of go flying up underneath the car so that did not work strap just broke so this time well, that was kind of an old strap, so I'm just gonna go straight to it. I'm gonna pull it on the other side, on the right side, my passenger side, so as I start backing up and turning the wheel, it will um, hopefully, uh, Actually, let's try doing this. Let's see if I can move up a little bit and double it. That doesn't happen again. double so um, hopefully that will not happen again
bit so that we um, it'll start coming the other way. So she's good up that way. It, technically, if I wanted to, I could just uh, kind of leave it here and then go hook up and start pulling it back up that way. But um, I don't know. We'll try to pull it so she straightens out a little bit more. tow company wanted to do this by the way and the story on this is nobody wanted to do it they called me to do it and they were charging her arm and leg but i know they would have just ripped it up the curb and this is her daughter's only car so the whole point of me doing it like this is so they can keep their car you know what i'm saying i'm not just trying to rip it up and then the whole bottom of it gets torn as crap and then they're screwed we don't do that i care you know what i'm saying i brought my own truck here just to do this so Gianna's towing definitely cares. Okay, that's good right there. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's no need for me to do the rest of the video. I'm gonna keep it short because that's super easy. All I gotta do is just pull it up over there and then I'll bring the roll back, which I got over there, and then it's going to uh, go quite smoothly. Because I'm just really just gonna drive it up there. Now I'm gonna put my bet on an angle. So as always, everyone, please like and subscribe. And now I've helped this customer out and um, their car is gonna probably just need minimal repair now to get it back on the road. So as always, please like and subscribe. Tow Trucks Cars and Energy Drinks. Gianna's towing, making a difference one tow at a time. So there it is. I know I said I'd cut it, but I figured you guys wanna see it. Um, once I got it up level and out of that ditch, Man, this thing was like a little go-kart. It just drove right on uh, over there. So I was able to drive it all the way back to the truck. And see what I mean about saving people's cars? You don't always just have to rip stuff off the bed and screw the customer over. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up, get it over to the customer's house, and guess what? They're gonna throw a couple hundred into it and uh, fix that radiator, of course, before, and it's gonna be on its way. So there you go.